husband's doing yard work outside. So much for quiet video. <laughs> Welcome back, Awakening Beauties. Everybody, thanks so much for joining me today. If this is your first time, welcome. My name is Robin, and I will be your host for the day. <laughs> um, thank you for joining my channel. So, the focus of my channel this year is all about a no buy year. And by no buy, I mean I'm not buying any clothing or accessories, I'm not buying housewares, I'm not buying any new skincare or makeup unless I need to replace a product. So it's pretty minimal, the spending that's happening this year. And I do plan to do a first quarter state of the union to see how we've been doing this first quarter, what I've spent money on, how it compares to last year. That should be interesting. So that should be in a couple of weeks when we get into the next month. The focus of today's video is going to be about a minimal wardrobe. I've never done a minimal wardrobe. This is a, a, a concept that is very foreign to me as a person who loves fashion, so much so that I went to school to become a fashion designer. I love color, I love print. I realized last year that I didn't have a lot of neutrals. Like I didn't, I didn't have a lot of basics, basic black, basic cream tops and, and whites and grays and that I had a lot more color in my wardrobe than maybe most people. Cause I know quite a few people who do quite a, kind of a minimal wardrobe and my wardrobe has been anything but minimal. Now I'll say I don't have, I do have a lot of clothes, but I don't have what I would consider an excessive amount because I do pretty good about editing my wardrobe. I will go through about every six months, sometimes even like every four months, and just pull things out that I haven't been wearing and just deciding that's it, I'm gonna donate it, I'm probably never gonna wear this again. Or I do keep bins under my bed, which I switch out kind of more seasonal things. Now, this is not the best time of year, I would say, for me to go into doing a minimal wardrobe. And why is that? Well, because I live in South Florida where it's perpetually summer and I know the rest of you, most of you live in colder climates than I do. So you're ready to toss the boots, you're ready to toss the turtlenecks and sweaters because spring is approaching. In fact, by the time this goes up, it will be spring. So why am I doing this now? That's a really good question. Um, I, I think it's just more for the challenge that of doing it. And I, I know that like a lot of things that I would categorize in my minimal, I guess I should say minimalist, like sort of European French minimalism is kind of what I'm going for. And I don't think I have a lot of clothes that qualify in that category. And the ones that do just happen to be sweaters. I have sweaters that would fall into that category. And if you followed my 30 day wardrobe challenge that I just finished up over on Instagram, you'll see that a lot of the black and cream colored garments that I have are turtlenecks and sweaters. So it's not the, the optimum time of year for me to do this, but I wanna take you through it. This is a shop in my closet. I'm not buying anything new. I'm just kind of curious. I'm gonna pull out, um, I'm gonna pull out the things that would qualify for this, this particular challenge of myself. And I wanna commit to 30 days. I wanna commit to 30 days of minimalist dressing. And I've already made the decision that it's going to be limited to, to 10, bottoms. Um, I might throw a dress in there as well, but I just kind of have to see what I have, pull out the things that would qualify for that, and then start making my choices. So here we go.
so daunting to me. I am curious to see though how I'm gonna feel when this is all over because for 30 days, and that's 30 work days, let's just be, <laughs> let's just be clear. These are work outfits and if I choose to delve into some of my cuter stuff on the weekends and you happen to see a photo of me on Instagram or Facebook <laughs> wearing something else, don't shoot me. This is going to be the biggest challenge I've had, I think, with my wardrobe. This is, um, wow, I don't even know how I feel about this, about being able to really do this for 30 days. It's, we're gonna see, we're gonna see how it goes. I'm, I'm gonna commit to doing this. And so let me just show you what I've pulled out. So I'll pop up some footage of the shoes. I've chosen six pairs of shoes and they're all neutral. There's no pops of color. It's all black, silver, and tan shoes. Three of them are booties. So I do feel good about that. I'm glad that I chose to pull out my booties because I don't have a chance to wear them that often especially living in South Florida, I, I haven't gotten a chance to wear, and these three booties are actually new. I've had them for at least, well, for about six months. And so, yeah, we're going to just wear booties and see how that feels, and we're gonna get some wear out of them before they get packed up for the summer. Cause I don't know about you guys, but in the summer, I don't think about wearing booties. I've chosen 10 pairs of pants, and let's see, one, two, three, four, five pairs are black. They're all different shapes. I have um, a skinny pant, a skinny knit pant. I have a, a, a very wide legged pant, a uh, <laughs> pleather legging, uh, another athletic kind of skinny pant from Athleta. And I have a pair of faded black jeans. And then I brought out my plaid pants. I love these pants. They've got a paper bag waist and they're just so comfortable. I, I really love these. I have a wide leg pair of gray trousers, camel color wide leg trouser. And then I thought, uh, you know, I would pop in this skinny leg stretch woven olive green pant because I find them to be very versatile too. And being that they're, to me, they do feel a little more winter and I, I wanna get a lot of wear out of them over the next month so that I can put them, they'll probably be a pair that I tuck away when I do my spring, summer turnover. Now, as far as tops, I pulled out this cream blouse, this white button up. I have a sleeveless cream blouse. I have this linen white, very lightweight, it's inside out. <laughs> this is a, like a little blush colored, little silky top. I brought out my Michael Kors wrap top that's got a little camo print, I really love that. And then I have this sheer long sleeve shirt from Athleta that reads kind of like a sweater because it's got a knit waistband. And I just wear a little like camisole under that. And this is actually navy blue. It's another little linen top, but it, you know, reads as a neutral, so, and I love it. And, you know, if there are days in the next month that are really hot, I'll be glad that I put this there. And I did end up bringing a couple of my sweaters out. Um, I love this sweater, this striped charcoal gray and white Henley with these really pretty gold buttons. And I do wanna wear this a few more times before, again, I pack it away. And then um, I have this nice little tunic sweater that's cream colored. And it's so soft, it's so soft. And it's not too hot. So I think even if it does get warmer weather, at least it's cold in my office. Generally it's cold in my office, so. Now I didn't get to this on my 30 day wardrobe challenge. I had set it up as one of my outfits. I actually had put together like 33 outfits, I think is what it ended up being the total. And I didn't get to this. So I'm gonna pull this out, this dress, this white dress. You know, I really want to wear this, 
and I don't want to be afraid to wear it. It's a little daunting, this dress. Just because it is so feminine and like it's, it's just got a very particular vibe and I want to be able to wear it and feel, I don't want to feel like I'm trying to be too young because I am 50 years old. So I, I don't, I'm not trying to look like a 20 year old, but I do really like this dress. Now, as far as jackets, I, I brought out this cardigan, this wrap cardigan, which I actually thought might look nice over top of this dress. I think I might try wearing it like that. We'll see as I am going through my month. And, and maybe I didn't pull out enough, like maybe I needed more sweater, like little cardigans and things. And, and I do have a couple other black cardigans that I can pull out if I need to, but I'm, I'm gonna try to stick with this. I did bring out two denim jackets. One is a dark wash and one is a light, like acid wash. And then I have this plaid jacket that I really love. It's kind of structured, but it's a knit. So it's very comfortable and I can dress it up or dress it down. It's just a very versatile jacket. So that is going to be my minimalist wardrobe and I will get back to you with how I'm feeling about it. We're gonna, we're gonna try this out and see how it goes. I plan to document it on my Instagram. So I put my Instagram link down below if you want to follow and see how these outfits are coming together over the 30 days and what my feelings are during that time. <laughs> Cause I do always express my, under the description, what I'm feeling about that particular outfit. <laughs> so what do you think? Have you thought about doing a minimalist wardrobe? Maybe you already have a minimalist wardrobe. I've heard from some of you who said, the problem is you feel like you have too few items in your closet and it's hard for you to, to go out and, and shop and find your style and maybe you're of a certain age and you kind of feel like things may be too young for you or maybe they're too, you know, you try to go to the, the stores that are, you know, for more mature women and it just feels too matronly. Is that a problem that you guys have? If so, leave me some comments below. I'd like to know your thoughts. How, how do you feel? What are the places that you like to shop? Where, where's the stores that you find your ideal fit every time? Because for me, loft always fits me very well. That's why you'll see a lot of loft garments in my closet. Okay, that about wraps it up. I thank you for joining me today. And just remember, you're doing great.